Good afternoon, gentlemen. This is Chad Huntley with a special report. For businessmen around the world and across the nation, these are dramatic times. On the world scene, we live with the knowledge that the major powers hold the balance of peace in uncertain hands. In Europe, the common market offers new challenge and new opportunities to American manufacturers. In space exploration, it has been a time of remarkable achievement. We are sending missiles and satellites into the beyond with increasing regularity. In show business, the wags of Broadway have found the wit and talent to invade the executive suite and make a hit show out of a musical satire called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. But each of us who faces the daily dilemmas of our own business recognize that success is more often the result of informed decisions pursued with a great amount of trying. In recent years, scientists have been helping the executive find how to succeed in gathering more pertinent facts to make better informed decisions by using computers. Business needs data processing. The need for computers is created by the volume of information business management needs to make its many complex decisions. This need has become increasingly obvious to management of smaller businesses as well. To fill this need, IBM has developed its new 1440 data processing system. The announcement of this new low-cost data processing system makes business news. To show you what I mean, let's look back for a moment. History is likely to label the 1950s as the beginning of the computer age. In the 50s, we saw computers lead the way to many new technological achievements. Computers made it possible for science and engineering to proceed at a tremendous pace, faster than many people thought possible. As IBM built and produced its large computers, so did it learn. The research and development that went into the production of these large data processing systems led the way to this new and smaller data processing system, the 1440. The IBM 1440 data processing system is a compact, low-cost system tailored to the multiple management needs of growing business. More than anything else, it is designed to take more of the guesswork out of the decisions of smaller business management. Now let's take a look at the 1440 and see what it can do. For this, we'll switch to the West Coast. Here in San Jose, in Northern California, is one of IBM's product development laboratories. Here, IBM engineers have assembled the components of the 1440 system for presentation. Standing by is IBM's Dan Woodward, a member of the development lab. Hello, Dan. Are you ready to answer a few questions? Yes, Chad. I'd be happy to answer your questions. What does the 1440 do? Well, right now, it's doing an inventory application. Let me show you something. Miss Arnold, will you ask the 1440 the inventory balance on part number 682314? That's a carburetor for a new model tractor. We'd like to know how we stand on this item. And the answer comes back right here in the typewriter. Part number 682314. Present balance 639 units. 500 on order, 127 shipped this month. Faster than you can say international business machines, eh, Dan? Well, that looked easy. Now, could we go behind the scenes to see just what made that and other operations possible? Certainly. Let's see how the 1440 performs the basic data processing function. Here's a quick rundown. First, there is input. In the 1440, punch card information is entered through the reader punch. Then we process this information. Here we perform all the arithmetic and calculating operations. For storage of information, the 1440 uses magnetic disks contained in these units. For output, the 1440 uses a new printer. However, we can also achieve printed output via the typewriter or get punched cards. Well, now that you've got us on the uh, hook, Dan, let's see the system in action. We know that no system is better than the instructions it gets. 
Just as you instruct a clerk in his work, the computer must be told how to do the job. You've probably seen the wired control panel used on punch card accounting machines. Yes, they look familiar, all right. Well, Chet, we do not use them on our 1440. This represents a great improvement. This system uses stored programming. These punched cards are actually a full set of instructions for the system. Miss Arnold? All we do is feed them to the reader punch, and the whole program is stored in the processor. Ordinarily, you can't see inside, but we have a few tricks to give you an idea of what's happening. Now, the processor has all its instructions, and we're ready to run. All its instructions. Just what kind of a program do those cards represent? Good question. These particular instructions represent all of the steps necessary to complete an inventory control application. Now, if we were to feed in the daily transactions, the computer could bring the inventory record up to date, prepare the invoices, or do many other of the warehouse operations. Suppose we wanted the system to do a payroll or some other application. Then, Chet, it needs a different set of instructions. Since this is stored programming, Miss Arnold can feed another deck of punch cards into the reader to instruct or program the system. With this new set of instructions, the computer is preparing to do another job. This is the stored program. Now it can get out the payroll in short order. So stored programming is what makes the whole system flexible. Yes, because we can tailor our program to do exactly the job we want it to do. Now, Chet, there are some features of the system we want you to see. You'll be interested to know that this reader punch uses solar cells. Well, that's what they use in the satellites. That's right. You see, the light passes through the cards wherever there is a hole and activates electronic impulses in the cell. This is a remarkably reliable and accurate method of reading. The information is transmitted into the processor. Now we see some action in the processor. Just what is happening? Well, Chet, the twinkling is our way of showing you activity in the processor. The processor is executing the instructions we gave it. It is performing all the necessary arithmetic, and it is bringing the master records on the magnetic disks up to date. The records are on disks? Yes, they are. This new disk storage is a dramatic technological breakthrough. Depending upon the arrangement, we can store up to three million characters of information on just one of these packs could we have a look at the disk pack? Here it is. There are six disks. That's where we file the information. All right, Dan. But tell us how that information goes on or comes off the disks. I'll do better than that. I'll show you. Each disk in the pack has circular tracks on which the business records are stored. There are 10 magnetic surfaces on six disks. Comb-like arms pass between the disks, reading information out of the files or updating them with new data. It is significant that with these arms, we can scan the records in sequence or seek out a particular record at random and do either at great speed. First, sequential action. provide the advantages of rapid sequential as well as rapid random processing. Now, Chet, here's a really exciting feature. Watch this.
Now, what did you just do there, Miss Arnold? I removed an entire payroll and replaced it with the master records for a 20,000 part inventory. But you're such a small girl. It's really very light. It only weighs 10 pounds. They're not only light, but because the disc packs are interchangeable, we really have achieved unlimited storage capacity with the 1440 system. This is the real breakthrough. This 1440 has two disc drives, but the system can have up to five drives. Yes, but now how do you get results out of the system? There are actually three ways to get results out of the 1440. You have already seen the typewriter in action. Output, output can be in the form of punched cards, which you have also seen. And how about the printer? I'm coming to that. This printer has many desirable improvements. You'll notice it is extremely simple to load. Another real improvement is the removable type bar. The type bar we just used contains the alphabet, numbers, and special characters. You said it was removable. Yes, and it is. An operator can remove it in just a few seconds. She replaces it with another bar that contains only numbers and a few special characters. For some jobs, that's all we need. Using the numerical bar means that the printer is printing three times faster. Mighty impressive. That's the 1440 data processing system. I guess it would be redundant to say we're proud of it. Well, Dan, as you know, there are thousands of businessmen across the nation and in Canada watching your demonstration today. I suppose every kind of industry is represented by our audience. Now, you can't possibly run an example for each one, but could you demonstrate a specific application? Yes, Chet, we're prepared to do that. Everyone has some familiarity with banking procedures. We all deal with banks. So we'll demonstrate how quickly the 1440 can arrive at a daily trial balance. Good enough. You may fire when ready. We'll use two disc packs in the demonstration. Stored in this disc pack are all the records of the bank's depositors. Over here, we have all of today's transactions. They have been entered into the 1440 and sorted by account number sequence within the disc pack. Getting a daily trial balance is essential, but it is a routine operation. Any time we gain lets us use the computer for more creative financial studies, management reports, and analyses. So speed buys us these things. Remember, the system only does what we tell it to do. So we must put these instruction cards in the reader punch to tell the system what job we want it to do. I see. Now you'll post all those transactions and get the daily trial balance. Yes. Now the, trans the processor takes transactions in sequence from one disk pack, performs all the calculations for individual accounts, and updates the account master record in the other disk pack. Over there, the printer is turning out the trial balance. This application is a good example of processing of input data in sequence. Well, now, even a typewriter has something to say. What's that? That's what we call exception reporting. In our program, we ask the system to let us know whenever an account was overdrawn or whenever there was certain unusual activity in specific accounts. Here's the result. I get it. The system will let you know about any exception, just so long as you tell it what to do. That's right. Exception reporting quickly makes management aware of unusual situations and makes speedy, decisive action possible. All right, now, suppose I were to call in and ask for my balance. Right now, let's say I'm a depositor named uh, Davis. Of course, Chet. I mean, Mr. Davis. You'd give the account number on your check. Mm, okay, it's uh, 18421. 
An operator can make that inquiry immediately. Show him, Miss Arnold. And the typewriter comes back with the information. In the disk storage, pickup arms stop their sequential posting just long enough to find your individual account through random access. What's his balance, Miss Arnold? $833.40. That was easy. The really remarkable thing about the 1440 is the many ways that it can help management make quick and accurate decisions of modern business. Well, give me an example, Dan. All right. In a manufacturing operation, all the basic functions are interrelated. What happens in one affects all the others. You mean like engineering, inventory, and quality control? Yes, and material planning, scheduling, dispatching, and forecasting. All seven are basic functions of manufacturing. Anything that affects any one of these functions affects all the others. You mean, for example, the late delivery of raw materials will eventually delay shipping schedules? Yes, but it is more complex than that. It will probably affect all the operations, too. Things happen fast. The question is not whether there will be delay. The problem is how much delay. And how will the delay affect scheduling, quality control, and eventually profit? The real question is how fast management can be alerted to take corrective action. Well, now, Dan, can the 1440 really help management tackle these complex problems? Yes, it can. It can't change what management controls, but it can deliver information faster and provide more up-to-date intelligence. And how will it do this job? Here is your answer. In these disk packs, we have stored all the pertinent records. For example, current orders, inventory, job costs, and many others. Over here, we have punched cards for things like new orders, engineering changes, 